Hey, what's going on everyone? Today we have got a super customized custom knife build. It's actually a pair of knives. When you make custom knives, you kind of have customers on two ends of the spectrum. One, they're just like, I like what you do. Make me an eight inch chef's knife. You pick all the details or like a four inch field knife with a leather sheath. You design everything else. On the other end of the spectrum, you have customers who have a pretty strong opinion about all the little details that they just really want in their knife. And this is definitely more on that end of the spectrum. So we've got a pair of knives, one six inch, I'd call it sort of like a camp chef knife, probably tall up around two to two and a quarter inches from edge to spine. It's going to be thicker. So you could definitely baton it. The customer pointed me towards another bladesmith, uh, Lon Humphreys, who has sort of a unique method of forging in a front finger well, like a, a almost like a guard. And so I'm gonna give that a go, see if I can uh, make that work. And I'll put a link to his channel in my video description. The other knife is gonna be smaller, more of like a field skinning hunting type knife. Uh, it'll probably be about four inches long, fruit to forge finish on both of them. And we've got some custom Bacote scales for both of them. We've got four different styles of mosaic pins that are gonna get two and two on these two knives. We're gonna make a double leather sheath for carrying both knives at once. And each knife is gonna get its own Kydex sheath too. So this is gonna be an elaborate build, but I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I actually love doing things like this because getting feedback from customers really pushes you to go outside your comfort zone. And I think it ultimately makes you a better knife maker. So I'm looking forward to these challenges. Let's see what we can do. So I've got both of these knives pretty much forged to shape. They're a little bit on the long end. I wanted to give myself some room to play with because now I'm about to do the front finger guard that Lon Humphreys, when he does these, he just sticks it in a, in a vise and then smashes this end down with the cross pin. So I'm gonna give that a go. Hopefully I don't distort these pin holes that I made. I was thinking about maybe putting a, a piece of a handle pin in here just to keep this, this hole from closing up, but 
I, I think I can probably just keep the force downward and it's not gonna distort this. So I might have to sort of touch this up with the drill, but I wanted to drill all these holes while I still had flat surfaces before I stick this, uh, this front finger guard in. So hopefully I don't ruin the knives and we'll forge in these, these finger wells today and then get them heat treated. So I'm just about at temp. I just want to make sure that the temperature stabilizes all right uh, before I put them in. I'm going to let both of these knives soak at about 1525 in the forge. So I'll turn it off and on just to maintain that temperature between 1500 and 1525 degrees. This is ADCIV2, so I'm going to quench it in Parks AAA. The Parks AAA is heated to about 120 degrees. And I ran two normalization cycles, the first at 1650, the second at 1400. Then I'm going to quench at 1525. All right, here we go. First knife. 1525. All right, both of these knives survived the quench. They both turned out perfectly straight and they've got good hardness. I'm gonna get them into the temper oven for two two hour cycles at 425 degrees Fahrenheit.
All right, that's gonna wrap up the build for this video. If you're interested in having a custom knife made, you can reach out through the contact form on my website, davidboonforge.com, or you can send me a direct message on Instagram, Facebook, or TikTok. In my next video, I'm gonna be making a monster 10-inch chef's knife, so hopefully you come check that one out. Thanks for watching.